Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing some uh, exercise for placing a hanger, adding hangers using fabrication part in a rivet. So go to here the, in the new, then I am choosing this mechanical template from here. Just click OK. So you will be get one uh, mechanical um, projects over here. So I'm just uh, uh, go to here and I need to draw one uh, floor over here. So just uh, architectural floor and I just give an offset around 4000 and just create a new floor over here. Just like this simply I'm just creating a one floor. So this is that is our uh, basic uh, floor for uh, floor. So I'm just to go over here and I'm just uh, giving VV for that visibility graphics and I'm taking this section box notation category section box open and i'm just uh, stretching this up to here so you can easily visible uh, that uh, height of the um, like floor floor heights and everything so i'm changing this one um, annotations like in the template i'm just changing elevations okay so I, for example i'm just uh, keep as a none and just go to fine and just uh, give a shaded so you can see clearly the uh, ceilings you can see it and then you need to go to the um, fabrication parts from the system you can get the fabrication parts from here and you, here is the settings for the uh, fabrication settings and here you just need to uh, metric or imperial you want to ch check it so you need to download um, latest metric uh, content with MEP metric content you need to download it and here it is like a, a v2 0.02 so you will be get all the uh, ductus um, around the ductus work and everything you will be get so i am choosing this two three and and some electrical ladder and uh, uh, some other pipe uh, pipe fittings i'm adding over here so just added that one and click ok so that will come up over in the in in our fabrication part so it will take little time so i i'll show you how to how to do these things so you can see here already to the fabrication part duct part is coming so if you drop down so you will be get all the things so i'm using this one and um, i'm just taking at uh, this duct and i'm just uh, placing one duct over here it's at uh, around the 2500 i'm just uh, giving an uh, elevations for that and if you want to stretch this one so okay you can stretch it from here otherwise you can just add another one okay just uh, select that one you can add it from here and just add it another fabrication part another one another one i can add it here and here you can just uh, give a space bar you can rotate it that one and you just need to add another one like this you can you can add it otherwise you can go to the trim command tr for trim command and trim it so it will uh, automatically connect it if you go to the 3d you can see it's how it's look go to 3d so you can see uh, it was look like this and the ductwork is created then what you do to do you just need to give a fabrication parts for the supports so for that we just need to go here and drop down from here angles you can get it so just to select that one so you will be get a lot of angles from here which type if you need you can select that one for example i am using this one and i am just giving this one over here one and two one supports here and one support if you need to give give over here just give that one in the middle of this one just give it that one and I'm just giving the here and automatically it will uh, fix as per the size of the duct so you can give give like this the supports for all each each area and once you've done that one if you go to the 3d view so if you look, look at the 3d so automatically it will fix in the uh, fix it in the ceiling so if you want to select this one and if you, there will be a lot of uh, different type of uh, support so if you need to change this one m12 so you can change it that one so this is the way we need to do just to need to do the um, uh, fabrication parts if you want to change this one primary width around the 750 so automatically uh, that will adjust with uh, the support will be adjusted as per this and here if you want to change another one another width so you just need to give a um, another value for this one for example here 1200 if you need so you can give give like that so what will happen automatically this will be um, adjust the support will be adjusted as per the as per your width so that is the way we just need to create this support and another thing is like a piping for so if for example if you need to give go to the piping so i'm just uh, taking this piping 
um, this one just uh, just go here and um, I'm just giving the pipe this one and you can go here hard copper pipe so just select this one and the height is okay sorry that one it, it will be okay so you can just uh, give the pipe uh, like this and here also just give one one pipe like that and just play, fix it over here and trim it so just join that too so if you look in the 3d view how it's look so i'm just selecting this area select like this and go to the 3d view so you can see the pipe uh, pipe was created over here clearly you can see the pipe is created and uh, if you want to if you want to give a support for this one so how we can do the support just stretch this one so we can see how it's uh, how it will, it will work so if you want to change the size of this one so you can you change it that one and just go here and you can go here on the fittings hangers so if you want this kind of fittings okay you can just place that one over here so automatically it will fix it uh, as per the size so if you want to change the size of the pipe so you can change it and uh, uh, you can give the uh, uh, as per the as per the size you can just uh, it will be adjust as per the size also okay so just go to the 3d view you can see it was fixed over there in the support it will be you can see automatically the that uh, fittings uh, come up over there so like that you can make the um, uh, pipe fittings also the same thing if you need another type of angle so you can just place it as per your uh, requirement and everything so you can uh, put uh, download more of the uh, fabrication content and you can place it that one so easily that will fix it over, over there so same thing for the uh, electrical ladder for example i just need to do the electrical ladder over here so place it like this uh, for example i just uh, deleting this one and i'm just placing the ladder over here so um, just place it like this level and i'm just placing one of the ladder over here another one here and another one i'm just uh, placing over here and i'm just uh, trimming this one so this was not matching with this one align with this align just selecting this one and i'm just joining with this one so that was joined okay so if you look in the 3d how it's look go to here and uh, check there it was created over here right that was created and then then you just need to go here and just need to give a support for this one hangers so select this one and uh, select it wherever you need so automatically what will happen it will fix it in the ceilings so just select like this and you can give the support like that wherever you on the same distance you can give the supports and it will fix over there so just practice this one like uh, if you like my video please subscribe it so this is a simple method for the was giving a hanger supports using this fabrication method and uh, please watch my all other videos so i will i'll put another videos for the more details about this one thanks for watching and please subscribe and support me